Hey, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to do a password reset uh, on an ICX running uh, version 9000 or higher. Um, so password recovery has been the same for 20 plus years and this is the first time it's changed. So previously you did it from boot monitor um, and now it's done once a switch is booted up we can do it now without even reloading the switch. So um, you know, let's say you've lost your password. Uh, so um, let me just log out here for a second and we'll have a look at that. So say I try to log in as super, you know, I could try the default login doesn't work. Um, and I don't know what else to do, right? So how we're going to start this recovery is we're going to do a control Y. Uh, and it puts us in this OS prompt, right? And so from this OS prompt, we've got a few options here. Um, and this works a lot like boot monitor in the previous code versions. So I can set my IP address. I can set a gateway address. Show remote will show me what my IP is. Um, I can do a copy TFTP to flash from here. Um, so these are the things that you would have done in boot monitor previously. But the new ones here, there's a reset login and there's an erase startup config. So if I just wanted to blow away my startup config file and, and reboot the switch, I could do it that way and come back to a clean config. But we're going to do a reset logon because we don't want to lose our startup config um, or a running config. So really all we need to do is do a reset underscore login. Right? And it, as it tells you, it's a temporary login. So reconfigure your users once you log in. So all I have to do now, I don't even reboot the switch. I just do an exit here, and it's going to put me at the back to the prompt. So the switch is still running. Uh, and so at this point, what you want to do is you want to log in with the default logon from the factory, which is super and sp-admin. So if you forget what that is, look in the bottom of any of our APs, or most switches should say it on there. So username super. Password is sp-admin, and that should let me in, which it does. And so from this point, I'm going to enable and then config T, and then I want to change my uh, my password again, right? So username super and password, you know, new pass, something like that. Uh, okay, so now if I exit out of here, Uh, and I try to log in as super and sp-admin like I did a minute ago, it should not allow me to do that. Which it does not. Uh, and it should be now super and new pass. And that should now be my, my permanent new password. All right, so simple as that, uh, you know, you don't have to wait for the switch to reload. Uh, I did not point out before that this has to be done from console. So very important. You can't do it from SSH. You can't do it from Telnet. You can't do it from the web interface. It has to be on console. Obviously, that avoids a security issue where someone remotely from the from the login prompt could reset your password. Obviously, that's a bad plan, right? They would need to have physical access to be able to reset that password. But that's it for today. So uh, simple new method, but uh, definitely a change from the path. So thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. Take care.